I have a really shitty webcam. Creativity, creativity, creativity. Creativity, creativity, creativity. I could say three words in a row too, Chromine. And yeah, you're not special in that regard. Creativity. Well, it finds a way. If the drive is there, it doesn't take much to get creative. When I was younger, I wanted to make my own TV show. So I used a fork, a cup, and a Game Boy. I made it work. He's right. You know, when you have like that spark, that, that creative spark, and you just want to uh, just get out there, it feels good to create. You know, it feels good to make something that you're proud of and then to show that to people. And that's what YouTube used to be about. YouTube had a front page, kind of like Reddit. And how you got on the front page, how you got featured, was you had something really, really good. That shit was like checked. That shit was like marked. It would just become something, you know, like that was, that was how you got big. But then you just kind of saw things change a bit. People would kind of cheat the system. Uh, you used to be able to post video replies. You could post these video responses to uh, someone you want to respond to and you could have a conversation via video and like have this whole series just back and forth back and forth and you know I saw it all the time and it was really great you could just watch a conversation <clears throat> so much of that was lost because people would instead of making appropriate uh, good relevant or even just relevant vaguely relevant video responses they would just post a, a picture with like a because the thumbnail thing was different back then you had to like it had to be dead center of the video and so what they would do is they'd have a video and then right in the center right in the center of it they would like splice in like a thumbnail of like something erotic like something like breasts or something like really action-packed something that didn't have anything to do with the video but it was click baity it was clickbait you would click that you would you know you would discover ah that's not what I wanted but it's too late, you already gave them a view. And that's what the algorithm was all about, was about views. And before you know it though, around you, you just saw that the people who would make content that would legitimately, by word of mouth, just get passed around and get put on the front page, on the future page, um, you saw that those creators, those content makers, get swarmed by people who, at the time, were actually breaking the rules and then kind of Google bought YouTube because like right when that happened uh, that's when the con like secret contracts would come in and the secret companies who were secretly funding all these guys would come in and like views were miraculously coming out of thin air you know and like contracts would come out and people would get funding to make videos a certain way and for a long gap of time for a long gap of time it was that really shitty style of vlogging where there was no content, no sketches, no nothing. Just literally, a people, somebody would take like a, like a fucking phone, like Shay Carl, sorry buddy, you know, like, you're not gonna watch my fucking shit, it's cool. Uh, Shay Carl would like take his fucking camera and just go around and film his family doing fucking nothing. Like, not even talking about anything. Just literally filming his family doing fucking nothing. It was like a fucking 45 minute video of him then just fucking grocery shopping. And putting t-shirts together to sell to people and shit. Like, all the behind the scenes that you don't care about. You know? And he was like... And I commented. And again, I don't mean, I don't mean any ill will to the guy. It's just... I don't agree with it. And I, I commented and I was like, you know, I'm glad this video was 45 minutes long because that's how long it took me to process why you have a 45 minute long video. <laughs> and like, so, so for a long stint of time, it was like 2010 to like 2013, you know, like three years of just that. That was the top game. Everyone had a vlogging channel. You know, the creativity meant nothing, nothing anymore. And eventually, that kind of tapered off because YouTube caught on and changed the algorithm. Because views didn't matter anymore. Now you had to actually stay for the entirety of the video. Those shitty vlogs, you know, where the views no longer matter, the comments aren't that important anymore. You know, those kind of faded away. And lo and behold. And I remember this too, because like, it was a very small minority before. There were only like one or two people. Gaming channels suddenly 
started climbing the ranks. And it's sure enough, sure enough, you know, once that happened, everyone had a gaming channel. Lisa Nova, I Justine, uh, Tobuskis, you know, like everyone started getting a Let's Play channel because they knew that's where the money's at. And I'm sure YouTube was whispering in their ear, that's where the money's at. You had a death of creativity, straight up just shitty ass vlogging, gaming. Now you are just watching people play games and that's the big deal. Meanwhile, people like animators, shit like that, they don't do that shit anymore. Yo, Tom Perel, you know, he uh, he said that he just doesn't make content anymore because uh, there's no views. There's no views for animators. Why go through the effort of animating? Because animation's hard. Like those stop motions I did, yeah, they were simplistic. Yeah, they were borderline, maybe more than borderline shit. But I did them and I can tell you they're really, really time consuming. And that's just moving fucking things around. Right, that's a stop motion. Imagine drawing frame by frame by frame by frame. You know, and you'd go through all that work, all that time, and then you'd get it done, and then no one's there to see it. No one's there to give a fuck about it. You did all that for fucking nothing. Yeah, I would I wouldn't want to do that shit either. You know, I mean what am I gonna what's to do, right? Like are you gonna are you gonna say people can't make less plays anymore? No, that's the thing to do. I made one. I made that I made that Warframe one. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I have like five active subscribers that actually watch. So at this point, I'm just like a network um, television show. Um, I just kind of throwing shit at the fans, see what sticks. But I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. Um, when I made that, and I told my friends this, you know, I, I made that, I put it on my YouTube, and I felt kind of gross. Because Warframe's not my content. I didn't make Warframe. That entire video was me bitching into a microphone about whatever, you know, just talking. Yeah, it's therapeutic, but I was just me talking while playing a fucking video game. That is not entertainment. But when you think about it, you're just watching someone else consume someone else's content. You know, and and that's what that's how I felt when I did that Warframe video. Is I'm just consuming. DE's, the company that makes Warframes, I'm just consuming their content and uh, taking advantage of them, really. Using their content to float my own shitty, lackluster, not even giving a fuck, whatever that was. It's not mine. It's not mine. I might as well just not monetize it. It's not mine. You don't see any just... It's just a guy making something. You just don't see a small group of friends just making something cool, making a show, and just putting it on their YouTube training like their own network. You just get shit. You get shit. Merry Christmas!